Good morning, great ones. Welcome back to this maths lesson brought to you by Worksheet Cloud. My name is Teacher Di, and it's so nice to have you back here with me today. I feel like I can almost see you there on the other side of the screen. If I wave, will you wave back? Okay, let's try. Good morning. <laughs> Okay, if you have any questions while I'm teaching, you can ask mom or dad to send an email to the address on your screen now, grade one at worksheetcloud.com. Okay, let's get started. Today is a maths lesson. We're going to be talking about 3D shapes. Before we start, let's count. Remember, counting gets our mind into gear. Let's count in twos. Two four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty. Very good. Let's count in fives. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Well done. Let's do it again. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Well done. Okay, have a look at the number line. Can you find the number 7 with your eyes? Do you see it? Great, there it is, number 7. Can you tell me what is one more than 7? 8, that's right. How about one less than 7? Great, six. Okay, let's see if you remember how to tell the time. What time is it? One o'clock, good. You can see the hour hand is pointing to the one. That tells that it is the hour is one. One hour, one o'clock. And the minute hand is pointing to the 12. So there are no minutes have gone by yet. The clock has just struck one. We say it is exactly one o'clock. One more, what time is it now? Good, nine o'clock. Great. Okay, today we are going to learn about some shapes. I'm very excited. I love talking about 3D shapes. Hmm, have you heard that term before? 3D. Okay, maybe you've been to a 3D movie. Do you know what that feels like when you wear those funny glasses and then everything looks all real around you? Have you ever been to one of those? Okay, well, that's what we're going to be talking about today. It's best to compare to 2D so you understand. So we have done 2D shapes, and can you remember what is this shape over here? It's a circle, right. What is the shape over here? Square, good. And this one? Rectangle. Last one? Great, a triangle. Okay, now these are 2D shapes, which means they are flat. You can't look around behind them or in front of them or turn them round and round. They are flat shapes. They only have two dimensions. Don't worry about that too much. Just remember 2D shapes are flat. Okay, we can't look around behind them. Today we're going to learn about 3D shapes, which if you were here with me now, I could hold one up and we could turn it around. We could look behind it, in front of it, under it, over it. It's a 3D shape. Okay, not a 2D flat shape, a 3D shape, which is a round form or shape. Okay, let's learn about one of them. And that is, the first one we're going to learn about is called a sphere. Now in grade R or early in grade 1, you might have learned that this is called a ball because it's a ball shape. On the computer, of course, it's flat because the screen is flat. But picture there's a ball in front of you right now that you could bounce or throw or catch. Okay, that is called a sphere. It's absolutely fine to call it a ball shape. But we need to start getting used to saying its real name, which is sphere. Now, sphere is such a funny word, and the reason is that in English, if you have a p and a h, look over here at the word sphere. If you have a p and a h, that makes a f sound. Now, I know most of you wouldn't have done that sound yet, so I'm just going to pretend that there's a f there, okay? And that's how come when we read it, we say sphere. 
is a s and f right next to each other. Can you try say s and then f straight away? Sphere. I say to my grade ones, if you can't get that right, you can cheat a bit and say Sophia really fast. Do you know there's a cartoon called Sophia the First? Or maybe you have a friend called Sophia. Or maybe your name is Sophia. Well, if you say it really fast, it sounds a bit like Sphere. Okay, try that. Sophia. It's a trick. <laughs> okay, and when you, when you feel comfortable, try and say the correct word. Okay, Sphere. This shape is a sphere. Now let's talk about some shapes, some spheres that we can see around us. So we've already said a ball. That's what you used to call the shape, a ball shape. But now we know the word. Here's a Sophia the first ball. Do you get it? Okay, here's another one. Oh, bubbles. Of course, bubbles are in a sphere shape. They are round. You can look behind them, in front of them, under them. It's a sphere shape. How about this one? A soccer ball. I know there's no sport on the TV at the moment, but I'm sure you remember what this looks like. A soccer ball. That's a sphere shape. And these? Marbles. I love playing with marbles. I don't know if you play with them anymore, but they are such fun. Marbles are in a sphere shape. Now, I wonder, if you put a sphere shape, a ball, on a hill, what do you think it will do? Will it stay there? Will it slide down? Or do you think it will roll down? What do you think a sphere shape would do on a hill? Shall we find out? Okay, there we go. Oh, it hits the bottom. What did it do? It rolled. A sphere can roll. It's not going to slide down because the sides are round, so it will roll down a hill. Great. Okay, that was our first shape, the sphere, a 3D shape. Let's learn about another one. This one is called a cube. You might have called it a box shape before. That's fine. It is a box shape. It's in the shape of a box. But the correct word for this shape is a cube. And we can start to say that and learn it. Can you say that word? Cube. Right, a cube is similar. Well, at least it's got a shape of a square in it. But it's got a lot more than just one square. It's actually got six squares all around it. I wish I could hold it up for you right now and see. If you've got a dice lying around that you've been playing with for a board game or something, you can turn it around and you'll see there are six squares that make up a cube. Do you see that? We can see one, two, three right now. There's another one underneath, one on this side, and one on the back. And that makes up six squares, which make up a cube. Now, can you think where you might have seen a cube around the house? I gave you a clue now, and there are lots of others. Maybe if you've got a younger brother or sister, you've got these kind of blocks in your house. These are cubes. How about dice? Remember I said if you've been playing a board game, you might have some dice lying around. Those are cubes. Ah, this is a special cube. It's called a Ru Rubik's Cube. And it's got different colors on the side. It's really fun. This is in the shape of a cube. Ah, and a present. Lovely. That's also in the shape of a cube. Now, what do you think would happen if we put this cube on a hill? Will it roll down? Will it slide down? Will it stay still? What do you think? Let's see. Whoa, there it goes. It just slides right down. A cube slides because it has a flat side. It doesn't roll, it slides. So you remember, what did the sphere do? It rolled. And the cube, it slides. Great. Okay, now we're going to play a game. You have to name the shape. If you said before me, you get the point. If I said first, I get the point. Okay. Are you ready? The answer will be sphere or cube. Okay, let's go. Sphere. Cube. Cube. 
cube. Sphere. Cube. Sphere. Sphere. Well done. How many points did you get? I bet you beat me. You're a bunch of smarty pants. I just know it. I hope you enjoyed this lesson today as much as I did. You can download the activity that I've prepared for you. You need to cut out some words and then label the shapes. Okay, ask mum or dad to download that activity from Worksheet Cloud and enjoy doing that this afternoon. Thanks so much for joining me. I can't wait to see you again tomorrow.